Hello everyone, you're welcome to Tech Talks on MC Smart Homes. My name is Clay. On Tech Talks, we do unboxing and reviews of smart home gadgets, and we also have general conversations around technology. Our hope is that you get to learn something new and maybe improve the way you interact with technology. So today on our video guys, we'll be doing something completely new. But before we get into our video, this video of today is sponsored by the Cameroon Baptist Convention Health Services, services for persons with disabilities. And the objective is to promote disability inclusive development in our communities. And one of the ways is by improving braille literacy and thereby improving the amount of information for persons with visual impairment, that means people who are blind. And the CBC Health Services is the main distribution partner of the Index Braille brand which is in Sweden for Cameroon and the Central African region. So guys, today we are doing the review of the um, Index Everest DV5. Index is the name of the company that produces this brand of embossers. So this is an embosser. And what is an embosser? An embosser is a machine that produces Braille. And what is Braille? Braille is a six-dot language used by people who are blind to read. So an embosser produces Braille just like a printer prints out print for us. So this is the equivalence of a printer, but this produces uh, Braille for people who are blind and will get to see. So this is the version 5 of this device. So there has been version 1, 2, 3, 4, and this is the feet. This is the index Everest. There is the basic, there is the fan fold, there is the braille box, and this is um, the Everest. First of all, this brills over 400 copies in an hour, uh, which is really fast if you know what braille is and how difficult it is. So it takes quite a long time in brailing, so this device really improves on um, accessibility to information. And before the embossers, there was um, this, uh, the stylus and the slate, which is the manual uh, way of doing Braille. There is also um, a Perkins Braille, which is also manual, but a little faster. Uh, a Perkins Braille is almost like a typewriter. So this is really good for producing um, much material. For example, um, if you want to do maybe exams for schools, this is way better than using a Perkins Brilla. So guys, I'll take you to what is on this device. First, it has its control panel here at the front with the buttons that are used in controlling this device. So it has the Braille equivalent of each button embossed on the uh, control panel. Uh, we should take note, it is not printed, it is embossed on the control panel. Uh, it's a language which is important to understand when dealing with Braille. Braille is not printed, it is embossed. So when I touch it, I can feel it even if my eyes are closed. I can feel that there is something written here. It has a speaker unit because it reads out instructions. Because people who are blind don't see, they get to only listen. So going through the menu, they have to listen to all the instructions that this embosser gives them. Here are paper supports. So when you want to emboss, you have your papers well supported and they don't fall over. It has this a roller which performs the same role as in a normal printer to pick up papers and take it into the embosser. It has the hammer and the print head, the emboss head actually, the emboss head which does the embossing inside. 
and at the back of the embosser there is a fan it has a power port it has a network um, antenna for Wi-Fi it has uh, a USB type B it has a network port and it has a USB port before we get into it this is what its power supply looks like it's really gigantic really big and it takes uh, 48 volt 4.2 amperes and a maximum of 221 watt max that is the output and the input is uh, from 100 to 240 volt 50 hertz stroke 60 hertz 4.0 amperes so this is what the power looks like on the other end is a 4 pin block so I will take you into how this uh, machine functions so you can print you can brill using three different methods the first you can brill from a USB so you can have your information in a USB stick plug it into this device and you brill directly the second is you can brill from a computer or a laptop using a USB cable and the third which makes this different from uh, the other versions is you can brill to this wirelessly so you have to connect to a network that means you connect whatever device you're using in brailing whether a computer or a phone to the same network as the embosser is connected to so you'll be able to emboss wirelessly and that is the best part of this device so I will power on this device so you see what it looks like so I'll have to plug in the power and turn it on so you can see one additional thing is it has a display which the older versions did not have so it has a display for people who can see and it constantly display what is functioning so it has the head the fan and everything whatever it is in function at the period it displays on the board and the good thing about this embosser is as compared to the old to the other versions is it is very versatile in its paper structure other embossers would only use maybe an A3 paper or an A4 paper or some perforated papers but the DB5 can take any kind of paper and you can also customize if you are using papers that are not of a standard dimension you can customize it you can adjust the embosser to that paper size and that is very good especially for developing countries where having options is a little bit of a problem uh, I take for example the basic the basic only takes a specific paper perforated in a specific way which I have not even found in Cameroon but the DV5 uh, doesn't have that problem because you can you can change your paper uh, size if you want also another thing about the DV5 which is very important is you if you're using really hard papers for example you're using carbon papers that are really hard or maybe plastic paper not really uh, paper but plastic material for example you want to do maybe labeling for doors you can choose to let this uh, embosser hammer twice, like emboss twice, or say print twice. Let me use that language for understanding. So if the paper is hard, the embosser can hammer more than once so that the, the dots come out well. One of the problems with an embosser is noise. In brailing, that embosser produces so much noise so much that it can also become um, a problem to people who are in the same area with an embosser and so there is an acoustic hood to protect this embosser 
first from things getting into it but second to trap the noise so that people don't get to suffer that i'll get to show you what an acoustic hood is in a moment i have connected the embosser by cable to uh, a router and i have connected my computer to the same network mind you you don't need internet to use this service you're just connecting the network you're just forming a network between your computer and the embosser using a router so you can use any router you don't need a sim card you don't need internet so that is all you need and when you have it connected here you can get the ip address it generates the ip address for you so you use help and help. then to and get your ip address network. 192.168.1.100 So all you have to do is put the IP address into a browser So this should open up uh, the interface where you can use So this is the index interface where you can use in grading directly onto um, the embosser as you can see, I'm not connected by cable to the embosser. I'm simply connected to the same network that the embosser is connected to. And here is the interface I would use in embossing. So, um, in the embosser which is now inside the acoustic hood and we'll get the difference in terms of the sound how much sound is now trapped inside the acoustic as opposed to when we were embossing when it was outside the acoustic so here is the same we do the same procedure like we did with the mobile with the laptop on the mobile device so here is the index the the braille app which we use so here I can do exactly the same thing to Braille. So let me look for a file from my mobile device and we try it out. So let me do page one uh, to, let me do page one to four. So that is it and I emboss. Please take note of the sound, how much noise it now produces, or how much noise it doesn't. of the noise so guys that was it uh, we did the printing or the embossing from the mobile device and that is what the DV5 can do um, so just stay tuned we'll be doing other versions of the embosser hopefully we'll get to do the grill box which is a more advanced version of, of the DV5 uh, I hope that you did like the video Make sure you leave a comment in the comment section. If this is completely new technology for you, I would like to know what you think about it. And if you have any inquiries, please click on the link below and we'll get back to you about uh, this device. So guys, that is all we had for today. Uh, till the next video, peace.